Hello everyone, it's April 1st, a cloudy spring day here in Seoul. I'm Son Jie, and these are your top stories. South Korea's top security advisor arrived in New York for meetings with his U.S. and Japanese counterparts later this week. Seol Hoon is expected to hold three-way talks at the U.S. Naval Academy on a coordinated approach to North Korea as well as joint cooperation on various security issues. The talks come as the Biden administration is said to be in the final stages of formulating a new policy towards North Korea. Almost simultaneously, Seoul's foreign minister will be meeting with his Chinese counterpart in the southeastern city of Xiamen, which faces Taiwan, to discuss bilateral ties as well as the Korean Peninsula situation and other global issues, said the foreign ministry. This would be the first in-person meeting between the two in their current capacities amid renewed tensions following North Korea's recent missile launches. Local reports say that timing, as well as the location of the two diplomatic encounters, highlight Seoul's delicate situation of being placed in the middle of the growing U.S.-China rivalry. On Thursday, Korea started inoculations for those over 75 years old amid concerns about the growing number of new infections and uncertainty over vaccine supply. On the same day, new COVID-19 cases topped 550, the highest tally in over 40 days. Health authorities warned the growth could accelerate with people relaxing their vigilance against the pandemic. Meanwhile, the country's plans for achieving herd immunity by November could face delays as delivery of vaccines face difficulties. Earlier this week, authorities announced that the AstraZeneca Oxford vaccine that will have to arrive this week could be arriving weeks later, and only 62 percent of the order met at that time. The government, however, said it was not seeking to introduce vaccines from China or Russia. A UN report says North Korea conducted cyber attacks to steal more than $300 million in 2020 to fund the development of missiles and nuclear weapons in violation of sanctions. The report by a UN committee on North Korean sanctions said the attacks were conducted against virtual currency exchange houses and financial institutions and were led by the North's military intelligence agency. The report outlined how a cyber threat group within the North's intelligence agency named Beagle Boys was identified by the U.S. as being active in a number of financial heists and may have attempted to steal nearly $2 billion since 2015. The report also said the North continued to illicitly import oil, several times the amount allowed under sanction regulations. And those were your top stories. Stay safe, everyone, and remember to subscribe to Korea Now. Sun Jie out.